Hey YouTube, this is Christian. Um, what you're looking at here is the uh, back of a 50 inch plasma TV. I bought this TV from my grandparents for a hundred bucks. Um, they had a power surge at their home and from what they told me the TV wouldn't power on anymore. I brought it home and that was the case. It, you could plug it into the power supply there and you could hear power going to the main board and you could see this green light here and this green light here coming on and another one right up here but um, after a bit these lights would go off and then the red light on the front of the TV would start flashing um, after doing some research um, I've narrowed it down to basically these two right here you got this one and this one and uh, I guess the common problem and probably with a lot of other flat TVs, LCD TVs, plasma TVs, is um, when you get a power surge or these two capacitors here um, have a tendency to blow out. And you can see, I don't know if it's if you can focus in or not, but um, you can see the tops here are bulged and there's a little bit of, of uh, maybe acid coming out because basically it's, from what I understand, the, the capacitor is basically... I don't have mo I don't have any background in TV repair. I've done a lot of computer repair and I've done a lot of custom uh, computer builds, but nothing quite like this. So um, my hopes is that this video will kind of um, help people out there understand that this is not really very difficult. Um, that even somebody who has no background in TV repair whatsoever um, can take on a project like this and ultimately save yourself a ton of money. My grandparents, when they couldn't get the TV to work, they called $100 to fix this. Um, they didn't even say that it was this problem specifically. They said it was they were going to charge $700 to replace What they did is they figured it was cheaper just to buy a new TV. So I thought it was worth the chance for 100 bucks, and I thought this would be a good uh, video to help those people out there who are thinking about trying something like this. I know the current economy kind of prohibits a lot of people from going out and making a big uh, purchase if their TV were to go bad. So um, I hope this helps. Now what I'm going to do is just me tape it. I don't have anybody this while I pull the board out, but I will pull this board out, and then I'll come back and uh, show you how to remove this. And then I got to pick up the capacitors. Got to make a 40-minute drive to pick up two-dollar parts. So, um, and when I get those, I'll get uh, finished making this video. And I hope it helps. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I already got the main board pulled here. And uh, zoom in here. You see this? We've got the backs of the the capacitors that are bad, right here and here. It's kind of blurry, I know. But now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my soldering iron and kind of just touch these up just a little bit so I can loosen them up and pull them out so I can take them with me down to the parts store. So, um, though I can't video this since I'm by myself, um, pretty self-explanatory. You just, uh, I've got a soldering iron right here, cheap one that I bought uh, a while back at O'Reilly's. It's an auto parts store here around Kansas City. It's like seven bucks. And then I've got some soldering wire there for when I go to put the new ones back in. But it's got a real fine tip, so all you got to do is basically just touch the tips of those after it's heated up, and uh, that should loosen it right up. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I got the first one out. Um, it was, it, it's, I mean, it's kind of difficult because um, you want to damage any men enough. But right here is where it was at. And what I was just doing was I was um, basically just took the soldering iron, two leads, basically, back and forth a little bit just to loosen them up. And while I pulled on the capacitor on the other side, they kind of free it up. Now, I mean, the one thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing this, you know, unless you're really being stupid, you're not going to break anything. Uh, one of the biggest things that I've noticed when I'm, you know, talking to people about doing their own computer repair and stuff is, um, you know, whether or not they're going to break the main board or the motherboard when they're, um, you know, putting a CPU in or putting the heat sink on. But, you know, it can take quite a bit of flex. You just don't want to, I mean, you want to be careful. I mean, because you just don't know. But um, I'm going to go get the part and I'll be Okay, well, I'm back. Um, 
I found what I needed. Um, it's actually uh, this is the 3300 uh, UF um, 105 Celsius, which is very important. They uh, specified that because they had two different models. One was a 70 Celsius, I believe. They said, and the other one was 105. For your plasma TVs and LCD TVs, you need the one for the higher temperature rating. Um, don't ask me why. I'm guessing it's getting pretty hot inside of there. So, um, One thing they didn't have, they didn't have the 10 volt, so I had to get a 16 volt. And I don't know if you can see this. It's a little bit blurry. My camera's not the best, but uh, uh, which is fine. Uh, from what I've read and what they said at the electronic supply store is that... Um, you know, it'll just, it's not going to hurt the board by any means, and I'm not a professional at that, so I don't know exactly what's entailed, um, but they said it was fine, and what I've read review-wise online, it's fine. Um, one thing that's important, I'm going to go ahead and I need to pull the other um, capacitor here. Um, make sure that you're, um, I just do them one at a time. And that way that you know you're making sure you're lining up your positive and your negative. That's very important. You can't just slap it back in here. Uh, one thing you'll notice, though, is uh, it makes it kind of easy, is on the new capacitors here, they have, um, oh, you know, your leads are one's longer than another. So um, for the longer one, looks like that is your positive side, and the shorter one is your negative side. So... I'm going to go ahead and stick these in. Um, I'm going to put the board back in. There's about eight screws that hold the board into place. So uh, it should only take me a few more minutes. And then I'll uh, come back and let you know the result. Okay, it may be kind of hard to see, but right... Where's my finger at? There it is. Right there is where I soldered the two new uh, capacitors in. Um, it took me a while. I used a lot of heat. There they are right there. I'm hoping that I didn't screw anything else up. So uh, I'm going to hook this board back in, um, plug everything up, and see where I'm at. Okay, well, I got the board back in. Um, I took some pictures just to make sure I was putting everything back in the right spot, but really each connection is a little bit different, so it's almost nearly impossible to get uh, the wrong one in the wrong spot. You have your power supply here. You come across here, you have, I don't know what it is, but it, it's the only one that goes there. Um, you have all of these. These look like they go to the control board down here where, the, um, where all your inputs come in. So each one of these was a different size. So you couldn't get those mixed up. Um, and of course up here, these are both the same size, but from the picture obviously I could tell which one went where. Um, and then these two were the same size, but of course from my picture I could tell which one went uh, in what slot. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, nothing really more to say about that. Um, like I said, there was about eight screws that held the main board on, and now I'm going to put the back plate on and uh, give it a power. Okay, it works. I'll take some uh, more video later when I get the uh, computer hooked up to it. There's my wife. She's not very happy about the plasma. She thinks it's too big. She thinks we'll look like white trash, but it's plasma, and it's huge. I'll post some videos later with the uh, computer hooked up. I hope this helps.